Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2023 and I love having fun in the kitchen and I want to take you along with me on this epic start to this year in making vanilla extract. Now we are not just making one type of vanilla extract. We are committing to five different kinds. We are using a dark rum, a tequila, a brandy, a honey spiced whiskey, and an Everclear moonshine. And I cannot wait. Last year in March, I decided to grab myself a bottle of spiced, uh, spiced rum and I put in 10 vanilla beans. Now, it's not gonna be ready until March of this year, like I wrote on the bottle, which is fine. But today was the first day that I opened this guy and it smells incredible. It smells so good. Now, I was at the liquor store thinking that my vanilla was gonna be ready this month, which it's not, and that's fine. But when I was at the liquor store, I was thinking, I'm like, well, I made my vanilla extract with spiced rum. I wonder what the taste difference is going to be versus if you just do a plain vodka or a, or a simple rum. And then that got me thinking, well, instead of just getting one bottle and waiting an entire year to see if that bottle's gonna be good or not, I decided, well, why not try an experiment? And that's where we are for today. And the ones that I've chosen is I've got my spiced rum and I wanna do like a taste comparison. So we're committing for a year here, guys. So we're not gonna be able to taste this until January of 2024, but I thought how cool would it be next year to bring in the new year with a taste test of all these different kinds of vanilla extracts. And of course you guys are gonna come along with me for the ride. Now this one, I'm, I'm not really gonna be baking with it, but I wanna see taste wise what it's kind of kind of bring to the what it's gonna bring to the table. So I'm gonna go get my supplies and we're gonna get started.
have left to do now is to label it. And I put 10 uh, vanilla beans into each one of these and I put 20 into each one of the bigger bottles and they're about 750 mils for each of these. So um, I like personally my vanilla extract a little bit on the stronger side so I don't have to use as much but you could easily go the next size up in bottles and put 20 vanilla beans into each of those. Now, as far as budget goes, these bottles were roughly around the $15 mark. The most expensive bottle actually was this Honey Spice Rum, which was $24, uh, $24 like 95. So about $25, but I didn't want to break the bank in this one. This guy was super cheap and it was like 20 bucks and that was a few years ago. So I don't know what it would go for right now. But you can see the vanilla beans are in there. Now, as far as before I put the vanilla beans in there, I actually took out some of the liquor out and I poured them into little glasses. The first time that I actually made my own vanilla extract, I thought that the gap that they leave you in the bottle was sufficient enough. It's actually not. So what I do now is I grab a glass, I pour, a good like a good shots worth or like an inch off the bottom and I put that into another glass I put in all of my vanilla extract and then what I do is I pour it back in the bottle and I fill it up as absolutely mo like as much as I possibly can I do leave about a half inch from the very like top of the bottle uh, so the, the rim and I leave about a half inch gap between that and that gives me kind of peace of mind that when it's hanging out for a year i don't have to check on it i literally do nothing the only thing that you have to make sure is before you put it away that all of your vanilla beans are submerged now when you're filling up your bottle back to the top you don't really have to worry about that unless like one of the stems with the curve happens to catch on the lip of the bottle but you'll be able to tell like you just push it back in with this bottle with the honey spice rum we actually had a couple of friends come over and we tap, we finished off the, the previous bottle and we got into this and we drank a little bit more than I needed to and I thought it was safe and then, you know, when you're having fun, you're having fun. So with this bottle, I just had to keep an eye out for it to make sure that the vanilla beans were completely submerged, which they are now. So when I put it in my dark, cool place in the corner of my pantry, I just have to make sure that you know nothing's kind of bubbled up and sitting on top of each other and i am lucky in the fact that there's just enough of this whiskey that everything is submerged nicely and i did top off the rest all i have to do is label this so i did label this one and that one's going to be ready in march and for these ones i'm just going to find anywhere that i can do some writing so ready jan 2024 and i'm going to do that for all of them this one still has about two months to go so i'm going to put this one back but these guys are all ready, they're labeled, they've got their vanilla beans in there. I'm gonna go stick it in the bottom of my pantry, off into the corner where it's nice and dark. And I will see you again in one year to try and bake something with this so we can do a taste test. And on that note, that is everything for today's episode. If you like this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Click subscribe, I'm always coming out with new great things in the kitchen. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.